right, so uh, something interesting that happened to me recently, I got engaged. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very normal human reaction. Normally, when you tell people in Los Angeles you got engaged, they're like, good for you. <laughs> Amazing, good for you. <laughs> so you say you got engaged, and then that always begs the next question, which is obligatory. Like, so how did you guys meet? Nobody actually cares, right? And how did you <laughs> <laughs> And it's never a dope story, right? You've never asked a dude, like, how'd you meet your girl? And he's like, all right, so, I was a raider of the Lost Ark. <laughs> she was the boulder rolling after me. <laughs> found a mutual love of flipping houses. <laughs> and I can say this as a woman who chose to be single for a very long time, as a feminist, as a champion of women, I genuinely feel that when women ask me, how did you guys meet? It's less about a genuine personal inquiry for me, and it's more like they're digging for clues, like, where did you find a suit? <laughs> Like you walk into a Trader Joe's on a Sunday, because that's when hot girls go grocery shopping. Like, <laughs> and buying flowers for me, right? <laughs> you walk into a Trader Joe's on a Sunday with a ring on your left hand. Women can feel the vibrations of that ring. They're like, it locks us! And they <laughs> come out of the cracks in the floor in like fresh yoga pants and highlighted hair, like, tell us your secrets! We wish to be betrothed! <laughs> There are no secrets. I promise you this, okay? It's no secret to meeting a man. I'm going to be 35 when I get married, all right? If there's a secret, I would have used it, okay? There's no <laughs> secret. There's no magical secret. I'm never gonna be like, gather around, ladies. Off the 405 lies a toad hole. <laughs> Let's go to it. You ask a girl, how did you meet your guy? We want to tell you. We get so excited. We will tell you everything. <laughs> everything. We will take it back. Info you don't need. Like, are you sitting out? Okay, chapter one. So, in the seventh grade, I showed an aptitude for the clarinet. Like, we take it <laughs> back. Men are less verbal. You ask a guy, how did you meet your girl? And typically, the stories sound about the same. You ask a guy, how'd you meet your girl? It's always like, all right, so, I was out with my buddies. And you know me, I wasn't looking for anybody. <laughs> and then I saw her. And that becomes part of our narrative as women, for better or for worse, the objective of being seen. We go out hoping that a man will pick us, save us, rescue us, that he will see us. And it doesn't make you a bad feminist. It's biology. We all go out looking for someone. You dress it up, you put on the Spanx, you go out like a starving <laughs> coyote, like, yip, yip. <laughs> Put out a little bit of meat for bait. Look at that! <laughs> Over here, boys! So that begs the question that any good feminist would ask, like, okay, well, why do men have to hit on us? Why can't we hit on men? And the answer is, it's just not our thing. <laughs> Women are not good with rejection. With rejection from flirting, we're not good with that. With rejection from things like, I don't know, equal wages, governing our own bodies, those kind of ideas. We put up with that all the time. But men deal with rejection on the regular. It rolls off their back. For men, rejection is a, it's a, dating is a quantity, not a quality game. Like, hey, sweetheart. You're like, oh, he's like, you're ugly anyway. How about you? Someone's gonna do it. Because he's playing the odds. He knows if he hits on 20 women, one of them, like at the buzzer, when the lights come up in the bar, he's gonna be like, how about you? She's like, okay, but can we wash my hump before we make love? <laughs> this guy knows, yeah. He's laughing about it. And the guy's like, all right, fine, take my hand. Come on, I'll tell you about my company, Herbalife. Like, they don't care. <laughs> it's mostly supplements. <laughs> Women don't work through rejection. Nay, we hold on to it. We hold on to it. Every woman has done this. We pluck that rejection from our past and we hold on to it so tight that it becomes part of us. And then we get to use that rejection as an excuse for why we are the special brand of weird that we are now. <laughs>